Well, howdy there, friends. Today, we're embarking on a remarkable journey to catch a glimpse of how the cast members from South Central have changed over the years. We'll be revealing their true identities and ages, and you're in for a real treat as we compare their youthful days on the show to the present year of 2023. So, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all ready for this ride? Let's get this journey rolling. 1. Glenn Plummer as Bobby In the film, O.G. Bobby Johnson is a central figure and former gang member who tries to prevent his son from following the same path of crime and violence that he did. O.G. stands for Original Gangster in Urban Slang. Glenn Plummer is an American actor known for his versatile roles in film and television. Born on August 18, 1961, in Richmond, California, he has had a prolific career spanning several decades. Glenn Plummer grew up in Richmond, California, and developed an interest in acting at a young age. He attended San Francisco State University. Glenn Plummer began his acting career in the mid-1980s with appearances in television shows such as Cagney and Lacey and Hunter. His early film roles include The Day the Ponies Come Back, 1986, and Colors, 1988, where he played the character Rocket. Throughout his career, Glenn Plummer has taken on a wide range of roles in various genres. He has appeared in dramas, comedies, and action films, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Some of his notable films include Menace to Society, 1993, Speed, 1994, Showgirls, 1995, and The Salton Sea, 2002. In addition to his film career, Plummer has been active in television. He has made guest appearances on popular shows such as ER, The West Wing, and Sons of Anarchy. His television work reflects his ability to adapt to different genres and formats. 2. Byron Minns as Ray 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 is a fellow gang member and friend of Bobby Johnson. The film explores the challenges of breaking away from a life of crime and the impact it has on individuals and their families. South Central addresses social issues such as gang violence, incarceration, and the cycle of poverty, providing a thought-provoking narrative. Byron Minns is an American actor, writer, and producer known for his contributions to film, television, and voice acting. Byron Minns was born on September 8, 1961, in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Minns has appeared in various films, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He gained recognition for his role as Ray Ray in the 1992 crime drama South Central, a film that addresses social issues related to gang life. Minns has made appearances on television shows, although specific details about his TV career may vary. He has lent his voice to animated projects, expanding his presence in the entertainment industry. Minns has collaborated with actor and martial artist Michael Jai White on various projects. Together, they co-founded the production company Gigantic Studios. Beyond acting, Minns has been involved in writing and producing. His multifaceted contributions to the entertainment industry reflect his passion for storytelling. Byron Minns, along with Michael Jai White, established Gigantic Studios, a multimedia company. The studio is known for creating original content that often explores themes related to action, martial arts, and urban storytelling. While Byron Minns may not be as high profile as some Hollywood stars, his work has left an impact on the entertainment landscape, particularly in the realms of independent film and storytelling that addresses social issues. 3. Carl Lumbly as Ali Ali, portrayed by Carl Lumbly, is a central figure in the narrative, and the film explores themes of redemption and the impact of gang life on families. Lumbly was born to Jamaican immigrants in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He graduated from South High School there and McAllister College in nearby St. Paul. Lumbly's initial profession was as a journalist in Minnesota. While covering a story about a workshop theater, he found himself cast as an actor. He spent two years with the Improvisational Company and later relocated to San Francisco, where he came across a newspaper ad seeking two black actors for South African political plays. 
Responding to the audition, he secured one of the roles. Lumbly and Glover embarked on tours performing Athol Fugard's Sizwe Bansi is Dead and the Island. His inaugural significant role was Detective Marcus Petri on the TV series Cagne Amp Lacey, 1982-1988, where his character partnered with Detective Victor Isbecki, Martin Cove. In 1985, he portrayed Theseus in The Gospel at Colonus, an African-American musical adaptation of the Oedipus legend featured on PBS's Great Performances series. In 1987, he received acclaim for depicting Black Panther Party co-founder Bobby Seale in the HBO TV film Conspiracy, The Trial of the Chicago Eight. From 1989 to 1990, he embodied the recurring character Earl Williams, a teacher falsely accused of the rape murder of a female student in the series L.A. Law. In 1990, he co-starred in Charles Burnett's lauded film To Sleep With Anger. From 1994 to 1995, Lumbly assumed the lead role in the short-lived science fiction series, M-A-N-T-I-S. One of his prominent roles was as Marcus Dixon in the American TV series Alias, 2001-2006. Other notable roles include lending his voice to Martian Manhunter in Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, as well as the character's father, Myron Jones, in the series Supergirl. In Superman, the animated series, Lumbly voiced the mayor of Metropolis in the episode Speed Demons and alien military general Alterus in the episode Absolute Power. He also provided the voice for the antagonist Stalker on Batman Beyond and the hero Anansi in two episodes of Static Shock. In 2000, Lumbly took on the role of activist and congressman Ron Dellums in the Disney Channel original film The Color of Friendship. While the film primarily focused on Dellums' daughter's friendship with a white South African girl, it also delved into Dellums' efforts to end apartheid in South Africa. Also during 2000, Lumbly made a guest appearance in the first season of The West Wing in the episode Six Meetings Before Lunch as Jeff Breckenridge, a nominee for U.S. Assistant Attorney General advocating for reparations for slavery. Lumbly portrayed Daniel Bulldog Novacek in the 2004 TV series Battlestar Galactica. He also had a role in the Kane's Wrath expansion pack for the video game Command and Conquer 3. More recently, he assumed the character of Police Captain Joe Rucker on TNT's Southland. In 2021, Lumbly made guest appearances in several episodes of the Disney Plus series The Falcon and the Winter Soldier 2021 as Isaiah Bradley, part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU. He is set to reprise this role in the feature film Captain America, Brave New World 2024. Additionally, he was cast as Beth Pearson's father, Abraham Clark, in the series This Is Us. Lumbly is the primary performer embodying C. Auguste Dupin, a significant character in Netflix's The Fall of the House of Usher. Lumbly has experienced two marriages and is the father of one son. His first marriage was to actress Vanetta McGee, lasting from 1987 until her passing in 2010. Together, they welcomed a son in 1988. Lumbly entered into marriage with author Deborah Santana in 2015 and the couple concluded their marriage in 2019. 4. Ivory Ocean as Willie Manchester Ivory Ocean portrayed Willie Manchester in the movie. Ivory Ocean, born on February 27, 1948, and passed away on October 9, 2019, was a British actor known for his contributions to film, television, and theater. Ivory Ocean was born as Roy Shorox in Manchester, England. He developed a passion for acting and pursued a career in the entertainment industry. Ocean had a successful career in theater, where he showcased his acting skills in various productions. Theater provided him with a platform to demonstrate his talent and hone his craft. Ivory Ocean appeared in several films and television shows, making a mark with his performances. While specific details about his filmography may vary, 
he contributed to the entertainment industry with his on-screen presence. One of Ivory Ocean's notable roles was in the film The Fifth Element, 1997, directed by Luke Besson. In the movie, he portrayed the character of General Monroe, contributing to the science fiction genre with his compelling performance. 5. Starletta Dupois as Nurse Shelley Starletta Dupois played Nurse Shelley in the film. Dupois hails from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where she spent her formative years. She earned her degree from the University of Maryland, College Park, in 1968, and pursued a Master of Fine Arts in Theater Arts from UCLA School of Theater, Film, and Television. Her inaugural appearance on Broadway occurred in the short-lived play What the Wine Sellers Buy in 1974. That same year, she secured minor roles in the films Death Wish and The Gambler. The off-Broadway production of So Nice, They Named It Twice, featured her in a starring role in 1976. In 1978, Dupois achieved a Tony Award nomination for Best Featured Actress in a play for her outstanding performance in the original production of The Mighty Gents, alongside Dorian Harewood. Subsequently, she portrayed Ruth Younger in the Union Square Theater's A Raisin in the Sun and participated in Longacre Theater's musical Don't Get God Started. Concurrently, Dupois commenced her television career with guest-starring roles on shows such as The Jeffersons, Little House on the Prairie, Knott's Landing, Hill Street Blues, Chips, and Saint Elsewhere. In 1989, she garnered the NAACP Image Award for her role in the American Playhouse production of A Raisin in the Sun. A return to the character Lena Younger in the Royal Exchange Theater's 2010 production earned Dupois positive reviews from The Guardian. Her extensive theater repertoire includes performances in intimate apparel, Before It Hits Home, King Hedley the Scent, Miss Evers' Boys, Fences, The Piano Lesson, and Joe Turner's Come and Gone. Throughout her illustrious career, Dupois played supporting roles in over 50 films. Her filmography includes appearances in Pee Wee's Big Adventure, 1985, Odd Jobs, 1986, Hollywood Shuffle, 1987, Ricochet, 1991, The Water Dance, 1992, South Central, 1992, The Thing Called Love, 1993, and Wolf, 1994. She starred alongside James Earl Jones in the 1991 Western film Convicts and portrayed Whitney Houston's character's mother, in the 1995 comedy-drama film Waiting to Exhale. Later films include Three Strikes, 2000, Big Mama's House, 2000, Friday After Next, 2002, The Notebook, 2004, First Sunday, 2008, The True to the Game Trilogy, 2017-2021, and Charming the Hearts of Men, 2021. On the television front, Dupois graced made-for-television movies, such as The Kid with the 200 IQ, 1983, Wes Craven's Chiller, 1985, Runaway Father, 1991, Strapped, 1993, The Road to Galveston, 1996, Full Circle, 1996, and Michael Jackson, Searching for Neverland, 2017. From 2017 to 2021, she held a starring role in the streaming television comedy series The Rich and the Ruthless, alongside Victoria Rowell. Additional television credits encompass guest appearances on The Steve Harvey Show, Chicago Hope, The District, Lost, Cold Case, and Black Jesus. 6. Tim Dazarn as Buddha Tim Dazarn played Buddha in South Central. Timothy Joseph Dazarn, an actor hailing from the United States, has graced both the film and television screens. Often credited as Dazarn, he frequently finds himself in supporting roles within the realms of horror, crime, and science fiction genres. Dazarn's filmography boasts credits in notable movies such as Spider-Man, portraying Mary Jane Watson's father, Fight Club, Live Free or Die Hard, the Cabin in the Woods, Untraceable, and Demon Knight. 
His television appearances span across various American series, including Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, NYPD Blue, the diverse Star Trek TV franchises Prime Suspect, Mad Men, The Forgotten, Lost, Criminal Minds, Weeds, Prison Break, Deadwood, The Shield, Cold Case, Quantum Leap, Seventh Heaven, and Sons of Anarchy. Born on July 11, 1952, Tim DeZarn attended Archbishop McNicholas High School, a Catholic institution in Anderson Township, Ohio. Although he didn't embark on a professional acting journey until the age of 25, he swiftly made his mark. The Equalizer marked his first foray into broadcast roles in 1986, and Three Fugitives, 1989, saw him in his debut film role. Desarn became familiar to audiences as Army Sergeant Dixon in the television series Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. His recurring role as George Putnam unfolded in the second season of NYPD Blue. A notable stint in Deadwood on HBO featured him in five episodes. Sons of Anarchy showcased Desarn as Nate Meineke, the head of a local state militia and terrorist group. His presence extended to the sci-fi horror film Project Dorothy in 2019. Currently residing in Los Angeles, Desarn shares his home with his wife and daughter. Unfortunately, tragedy struck in 2007 when his 18-year-old son Travis lost his life in a car accident. 7. Vicky Lynn Reynolds as Willie's wife Vicky Lynn Reynolds portrayed Willie's wife in the film. Born on June 2, 1955, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Reynolds emerges as a graduate of a Philadelphia school for the performing arts and a member of the Sigma Gamma Rho sorority. She, along with her sibling Ron Richardson, spent their formative years immersed in watching musicals, films, and the annual Miss America pageants of the Philadelphia area. Ron successfully persuaded her to pursue a career in the arts instead of nursing. Later, he himself clinched the 1985 Tony Award for Best Supporting Actor in a musical for his role in Big River. Their elder brother, the Reverend W. Franklin Richardson, assumed the role of pastor at the Grace Baptist Church in Mount Vernon, New York. Their father toiled in the meatpacking industry, while their mother operated a beauty salon from their residence for three decades. Reynolds made her debut on television in 1987 with an appearance on Kate Nump Alley. In the subsequent year, 1988, she graced two films, Crossing Delance and I'm Gonna Get You Sucka. She also portrayed Smokey's mother Joanne in the movie Free Day. In 1990, she secured a role in a new CBS television series, Sugar and Spice, revolving around two sisters cohabiting to raise two orphaned teens. By 1998, Reynolds participated in the Joseph Papp Public Theater New York Shakespeare Festival production of Bring in Da Noise, Bring in Da Funk. She secured a spot in the Broadway production of Smokey Joe's Cafe and later delivered a solo, cabaret-style performance at the Cinegrill in Hollywood in August 1999. In 2000, Reynolds featured in the Theater Works production of John Henry Redwood's play The Old Settler at the Lucy Stern Theater in Palo Alto, California. In 2003, she found herself cast in a commercial for the Saturn Corporation. Reynolds recently made an appearance on American Dreams in the episode titled Beyond the Wire. Her last television role was in 2005, portraying a talk show host in the film When Do We Eat? She also had a stint on 2 on 27, a television show. Diversifying her talents, Reynolds composed the music and lyrics for Hattie McDaniel, What I Need You to Know, and took on the lead role of McDaniel, the first African-American to win an Oscar. The musical graced various theaters across the United States from 2008 to 2018, including the National Black Theater in Manhattan, the Hudson Backstage Theater in Santa Monica, California, and the Cowell Theater in San Francisco. And so, we come to the end of this nostalgic journey. But the story doesn't end here. It continues with every project, every accolade, and every life touched by the enduring legacy of South Central 1992. To the cast, 
the crew and the fans who've been with us every step of the way. Thank you for being a part of this incredible narrative. As we celebrate the South Central 1992 cast then and now, we look forward to the stories yet to unfold. Until next time, stay inspired and keep the magic of cinema alive.